Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we uncover a captivating story of Eugenie Prigozhin and the infamous Wagner Group. From thief to chef to chief of Wagner Group, Prigozhin led the paramilitary force on a daring march from Rostov-on-Don to Moscow, threatening Russia's military leadership and the president Putin himself. A timely intervention from Belarus averted the chaos and bloodshed. Join us as we delve into the lesser known details of their African exploits and the astonishing journey that brought them dangerously close to challenging Putin's leadership. Get ready for a revelation that unravels the hidden truths behind this extraordinary tale. Let's embark on this gripping adventure together. In countries like Mali, Sudan, Libya, and especially the Central African Republic, Wagner's mercenaries have been supporting unsavory regimes and exploiting valuable mineral resources. In Central African Republic, they have even gone so far as to create a propagandistic movie called Tourist, which portrays Wagner as heroes saving the nation from rebels. But behind the scenes, Wagner is effectively running a Central African Republic through violence. disinformation and a complex web of shell companies to exploit the country's resources to truly understand the extent of Wagner's impact CBS news managed to speak with an individual named Usman who had experienced the group's brutality firsthand Usman's family used to be in a gold business which was thriving and provided them with a good life but when Wagner arrived in their small scale mining town tragedy struck Usman's brother was killed His sisters were raped and their gold business was seized by the Russians. Usman himself was tortured but he managed to escape and has been hiding ever since. The connection between the conflict in Ukraine and the Central African Republic becomes clear when he realizes that Wagner's compensation from the Central African Republic government comes in the form of mining rights and forestry concessions. They have a 25 year mining concession for a gold mine called Dasima and they have been even exporting the gold straight to Moscow on cargo planes but Wagner's activities don't stop at gold they also expanded into timber by exploiting central african republics worth in redwood forests they have found another lucrative revenue stream however smuggling conflict timber is a bit trickier than the gold to hide their activities Wagner has set up a front companies and has gone to great lengths to conceal their involvement Apart from gold and timber, the Wagner is mining diamonds in Central African Republic as well, further adding to their illicit gains. With an estimated revenue reaching the in billions of dollars, it's no wonder Prigozhin and his private army are central to Russia's strategy in Africa. Despite facing international sanctions, the Wagner group continues to thrive. Putin's regime seems to turn a blind eye to their actions, and Prigozhin's front companies allow them to operate covertly. evading detection and enjoying immense profits it's a disturbing tale of exploitation human rights abuses and the insidious nature of private military companies so there you have it guys this is just a glimpse into the dark world of wagner group and their operations in africa it's a story that reminds us of the hidden complexities and the consequences of conflicts far away from our own shores if you found this video informative don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe more for our intriguing content until next time stay curious